Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So first off, I'd like to give a shout out to my newest YouTube member, Jordan Gallant. Thanks for your support. In today's video, I'm going to try uh, YOLO 10 poll and see what we do on the Victor banner. I hope you hit a 5 star dad. I hope so too. Uh, if you guys have been following along, this is actually my 8th um, uh, 10 pull and I haven't seen a 5 star yet. Um, the last 10 pull I did hit a Thilla Lily, however it was a 4.5. So I'm hoping to break the streak and actually get a natural 5 star here. So we start off with 3 common doors and we got an Oar. Not that great of a start, but hey, luck can change at any time. Let me know in the comments below how you guys have been doing on your banners. I know that some of you have hit Victor and some have not. And so, of course, it's always a mix of RNG. Man, we went a few doors already, all three and a half or three star bots. There's some potential here. Let's see what we get. And... Oh, nice! Yuna! Um, hey, not a five star. However, four and a half and has the ability to become AS. Sweet! Stop flexing, Dad. And we get a back-to-back -back silver door, too. Let's see if we get anything better. And... And it's not Dunerith, it's Darunis. Um, I remember back in the day when I was summoning for AS Yuna, and I was hoping for any form of Yuna. It was ridiculous, and I think I missed on all of it, didn't get any 5 stars. And looky here, we finally off-bannered a 4.5 Yuna. So this just shows that, you know, even if you miss on the feature banner and we all have our share of salt and, um, you know, um, pain, hopefully they come back to spook you in an off banner pull and you'll get your featured unit or your waifu or husbando in the near future. So our first 10 pull wasn't what we expected. However, hey, it is still a new unit, um, unit, haha, <laughs> sorry. And I can get another 20 stones by doing her quest. And if I decide to side grade her, I can either get her manifest weapon, which is 150 stones, or just straight out get AS Yuna directly. That being said, I think I'm going to hold off on that for now, only because um, since AS Yuna has come out, um, realistically speaking, I now have AS Annabelle as my zone setter. And unless I have some major problems with debuffing uh, and shielding myself, um, I think I'm going to hold off on Yuna. There are a lot of newer units that do apply int and power debuffs that aren't just mages. And so, um, you know, we're always looking for better utility and more utility on our team. Still, always happy to get a new character on our team. So, you know what's up, man. I really should be holding back for AS Rosetta, but I'm tempted. And we're going to do another 10 pull here. I know this is an ill-advised pull, but, you know, when it comes to gachaing and stuff, I'm sure we're all facing the same uh, temptation to spend all our stones until we get something we want or burn out and have nothing. And we start off with an M's. Man, these common doors are really haunting me lately. And we get a Rufus. Again, it's a three and a half, not even a four. I mean, it's not like we're going to use those four stars in any case. However, it's less demoralizing when you don't see Cetos as your third pull. <sighs> Come on, five star out of the common. And? And we get the Bun Master Ling Li. Okay. Come on, let's see something else. Hey, the potential of a five star bivet. <sighs> and we get Yazuki. Man, these are all three or three and a half. Come on, let's get some four stars here or even a four and a half or five. I think we got M's earlier on in this 10 pull, did we not? Knights, knights, and knights. Let's see what we got here. And... Wow, double Rufus, all three and a half. <sighs> what luck. <laughs> Miu. Okay, this is the 10th one, I believe. Do we have any redemption? That is nine, three and a half, or three stars. Let's hope for redemption and see what we get. And... And we end with Zilva. Wow. So, Anders Prime, what do you think of this 10 pull? Garbage belongs in the garbage, Dad. That is terrible luck. Ah, 
And I can't believe I'm spending another thousand stones. Yes, Rosetta, I'm not gonna have enough stones for you, I'm sorry. Ah, <sighs> silver door. Let's see what we get here. And Oh! Nice! Mariel! Stop flexing, Dad. I'm not even sure how I feel about this one. I mean, at the end of the day, let's be honest. She is a featured 5-star unit on this banner, so we can't complain that we missed on this banner. Hey, 3.5 star foreign. Always we'll take the extra light on foreign. Can't complain that we got the featured unit. It's just that we lost the um, coin flip here. So instead of getting a full horse, a 5 star uh, victor, we got a 5 star marrow. Now that's to be expected with these split banners. And I think I touched on that before when we we're talking about, um, you know, um, who am I planning to summon for or, you know, should you summon in general? Being that when you do save a few thousand stones, I mean, it is all up to RNG. At least we're getting more silver doors this time. And we get no old. So, uh, just in case you're wondering, this Mariel puts me at 84 light for Mariel. So, um, once the future Japanese update hits, I will have four move slots unlocked for Mariel. Hey, who says free to plays can't get to 80 light, right? <laughs> <laughs> that being said, I will happily trade a Mariel for someone's victory. If anyone wants to trade me, let me know and I will definitely send her over and you can just give me a victory back. I'll even take a four and a half. No problem at all. That being said, hey, we still broke the five star streak. I finally got, this is my 10, 10 pulls. So almost a hundred pulls before I got one five star. So um, on average, remember that you only get uh, one five star in every three ten pulls. So let's hope that in future banners, I'm able to catch up and get more five stars than just this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.